my name is Captain Willie L. Daniels II, and I'm the president and founder of Shades of Blue, an aviation aerospace foundation dedicated to helping create the next generation of pilots, engineers, scientists, and astronauts. Now, we are starting a new program, or a new television show, called Speaking with the Captain. And this is an opportunity that our guests from a variety of industries, from the aviation and aerospace areas, will be able to tell of their experiences and give you an opportunity if you would like to follow in their footsteps that will give you a chance to learn a little bit of how they did it in their particular career paths. And perhaps you can emulate what they have done in their career paths and follow in their footsteps. And our very first guest is none other than Mr. Victor Glover, who is an astronaut and he spent six months on orbit recently on the International Space Station. Thank you very much for uh, agreeing to be here, to be able to uh, help inspire the next future uh, generation of, of pilots and engineers and astronauts and, and, and to have these young people follow in your footsteps. And it is my understanding that, that both you and I have something in common. We both grew up in the same area of uh, Southern California. And uh, you know, I grew up in the Pomona, California area, and I know that that's where you were born in Pomona. And, and I'd like to, to start out by having you tell a little bit about yourself and, and, and how you became the person that you are now as a young adult. Awesome. Well, thank you, Willie. Thank you for the invitation, and it's great to to speak with you. Um, and and so, wow, gosh, it, you know, it's interesting. You know, you're talking about being in Pomona. I was just out there recently for the Pomona, the downtown Pomona holiday parade, and it was so good to be back. But so much has changed, you know, uh, since I was there. I don't feel like a young adult anymore. You know, I turned 45 uh, on the space station earlier this year. Uh, but so growing up in, in Southern California, um, I was about 10 years old and saw a space shuttle launch on television. And that, you know, really started this idea, planted a seed of this dream to really fly a spacecraft. That was the, the first thing, or at least thinking about driving one or, you know, how do you, whatever it means to control a spacecraft. You know, I've always loved machines and speed and, and loud noises, you know, power. And so and then going through high school and college. Uh, studying engineering, but also playing sports. Sports has always been a very important part of my life. I wrestled and played football and ran track at Ontario High School in Southern California. And then I went to Cal Poly on a wrestling scholarship and was studying engineering. And I think both of those, the the laboratory, the classroom, but also the football field, the track and the, and the, and the wrestling mat, uh, all influenced me that I love technical things and, and enough detail to solve problems and understand problems, uh, but all but also the the team dynamic and working with people and and winning, but also losing. I think they're both important to experience and to learn to cope with, uh, because it either in either case, uh, you know the the next week comes and you still have to go to practice and, and do your best. And so learning how to deal with success and failure are, are vital. And I think sports really teaches and emphasizes that. And so really, those are two halves of, of, of what I think ultimately led me to going into the Navy. I wanted to do something very um, different. I wanted the, an experience more than a job. I was looking for an experience. And you know, after being a college athlete, a student athlete, I, I wanted to do something that kind of kept in line with that excitement, the small team dynamic and overcoming challenges with this group of people that you care about. And so I joined the Navy and became a Naval aviator. I was actually looking at becoming a Navy SEAL back then, and, and it was actually my dad's recommendation telling me about his friends like you. You were one of the primary examples my dad used uh, to talk about the possible, you know, the possibilities of aviation. So he said, and, and my dad used these words, uh, you know, being a Navy SEAL would be great, uh, but when you're done with the Navy, you know, I don't know, what do you want to be, a SWAT cop maybe, but, uh, but you know, you could go and fly for the airlines like my buddy Willie Daniels, and who knows, with an engineering degree from Cal Poly and being a, a Navy pilot, who knows, you could become an astronaut one day. And how crazy is that? My dad told me that when I was 20 years old. And so I graduated and I'd go to OCS, 
commission. I go to flight school and I had the, the privilege to fly the F-18 Hornet. And then as a test pilot, the Super Hornet and the Growler and a bunch of other uh, amazing platforms. And, uh, and then after going back to school and back to the fleet, I applied for the astronaut program. Actually, my second time, I applied while I was in test pilot school. Um, but after, after my first operational tour, I went to test pilot school. And then uh, later in my career, I would apply uh, for the astronaut program, beginning while I was living in Japan. I was living in Japan, deploying off of a ship in, in, uh, in Japan. And uh, I, I got the interview and got a second interview. And then I was invited to start astronaut candidate training. And that was that was pretty amazing. Eight years ago in August of 2013. And, and it's been a pretty amazing ride since. I've had a, a few different ground jobs, technical assignments. And then in August of 2018, I was assigned to fly the first operational miss mission, the second crewed flight of the SpaceX Crew Dragon, which is also from Southern California. I think that's pretty amazing. They actually build that rocket in that spacecraft, the Falcon 9 rocket in the Crew Dragon spacecraft in Hawthorne, California, uh, in an old building that used to be owned by Northrop Grumman, I believe. And so pretty neat uh, Southern California connection. And I flew that last year to the International Space Station, where I stayed up there for six months and uh, just landed in May of this year. Pretty neat. This episode does continue. Make sure that you check it out.